Now, the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, came under more Russian air attack today with droves of kamikaze explosive uh, drones hitting key infrastructure in the city. Amid the winter cold and darkness, though, the local Jewish community is seeking light and warmth in the candles of Hanukkah. Uh, last night lit by the uh, Rabbi Moshe Reuven Osman, the chief rabbi of Ukraine and Kiev. And Rabbi Osman joins us now from Kiev. First of all, Chag Sameach, Hanukkah Sameach, happy holiday to you, Rabbi. But tell us about the Jewish community there in Kiev in this very difficult winter and this challenging Hanukkah. Hanukkah uh, Sameach to everybody. Yes, it's uh, no regular Hanukkah in Ukraine. Uh, yeah, it, as you can see, we had a big menorah, a big Hanukkah in the middle, in the central uh, square of Kiev. But not many people was because uh, because um, uh, it's now alone to make a big events now outside. It's a danger. That's why that's why usual we every every year every year we call thousands of people Jewish people to come uh, celebrate us and this uh, year uh, this uh, year this Hanukkah I called uh, no please don't come don't come to the big events because it's no it's no it's no alone and it's it's, it's a little bit dangerous there's only only a few dozens of maybe hundred people was and um, we light few minor few Hanukkahs in the in the city but without the people and uh, in, in not only in Kiev in the Odessa in another in in the Chernovitz in another uh, the, the cities and towns in in the Ukraine was a light menorah how many people was there and uh, we had another problems yes you you say that we t tonight this night we had about 26 drones uh, from iran drones shahidis uh that's come here and uh, some of them uh, um, explode the infrastructures uh, electricity heating system and we have a problem now in kiev usually it's you it's as usual it's every week they bomb the bomb the infrastructures and uh, in kiev, most of the regions city without without light and uh, we was without heating heating is very very difficult because it's 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 cold today it was minus five degrees and uh, they they just want to to make it destroy the destroy the to, to people be free and and genocide. Right, Rabbi and, Osman, uh, Let me let me ask you then. What's your message on this Hanukkah night to the outside world, to the world jury, and to Israel? What's your message to them about what maybe your community there needs right now? First of all, first of all, the, all the world. First of all, thank you for all the world that uh, stand with Ukraine and help you to Ukraine. But we know we need much more, much more, more help now. And now, now it's real uh, danger. It's a real hard situation. And I spoke now. I was now and uh, yesterday and today I met the uh, city mayor of uh, Kiev city, the famous boxer uh, Vitaly Klitschko, and he said the situation is, is calm down because. And because the Russians, they really have wants to kill all all the infrastructure, and the people will be will be will be without heating, without um, water. I was I by myself was today brought uh, food and medicine to, for Jewish old people that sit uh, alone in home uh, their homes. We, we we have many volunteers breathed every day but yes today I come uh, my personally to make uh, to bring the simcha of the this holiday to them and I spoke with them as uh, but uh, and we I saw how, how we need to help the hundreds hundreds of uh, Jewish um, uh, Jewish um, uh, old men not only Jewish we we, we help to, uh, to to all people with Ukraine now it's a uh, it's a uh, real people could be without nothing today in Kiev only Kiev, a three and a half million people could be without, uh, without water, without uh, electricity, without without heating. It is a catastrophe. That's why all the world, they thank you for help, but we need but more the generators and power banks and, uh, and warm clothing and uh, much more.